one of the important concepts before we start writing this Trojan is understanding the difference between bind shell and reverse shell. When an attacker uses a payload that gives him bind shell, what it means is the payload is going to open a port on the victim's machine and attacker will try to connect to that port at a later point of time. When it comes to reverse shell, the attacker opens a port on his machine which he can control and he will send a malicious payload to the victim and when this payload is executed on the victim's machine or victim's device, the payload will try to connect back to the attacker's machine. And this is what is a reverse shell. Now let's have a pictorial representation of what it really means. Now you have an attacker's machine here and there is an Android device which is our victim. Now when you try to create a payload, let's say the malicious app or the Trojan horse, when you try to install that and run it on the Android device and if it is having a bind shell payload inside, what it does is it will open up a port on the device. Now as an attacker, you need to know the IP address of this device and connect to that IP address using the port which is opened by your malicious application. There are a bunch of challenges here. As I just mentioned, one of the challenges is that you need to know the IP address of the remote machine or the device. If the device is connected to a Wi-Fi network, it may not have a public IP address that is reachable from your computer. In such cases, it's pretty hard to get a shell on the remote device if your application is built with a bind shell payload. Now let's take a look at the reverse shell payload. You have the attacking machine on which you're going to open up a port using a listener such as Netcat. When your Trojan horse is run on the victim's machine, the Trojan horse connects to the attacker's machine using the attacker's IP address which is already provided to the malicious application. As you might have already noticed, in this example, the attacker doesn't need to know the IP address of the target machine and he doesn't care even if the mobile device is connected to a Wi-Fi network because the application is making an outbound connection to the attacker's machine. Now this is exactly the reason why we have decided to build this application by embedding a reverse connection payload.